Jesus Christ. It is now time for testimonies. For those with testimonies, you can please come forward. Especially with my children, even Mrs. Stewart, 
our elder. I told him that I have a, a challenge with my children since everything was going wrong here. But we looked unto God. So as we came, I told him every day, you see, the man of God is always making prayers for us. And he received a touch also as he came. And he said, Mommy, guess what? As I went to school after the touch, um, the principal called me and said, Wayne, is it possible for you? You can sit down, thank you. Um, is it possible for you to bring all your body of your parents? Because we want to talk to your parents uh, regarding your ID. Then we went there. Um, with my husband, as we went there, we were so worried that school is just, I don't know, according to the rest, as you go into the yard, you start to judge yourself, weigh yourself, how am I going to approach, what am I going to say if they are going to ask me something, what am I going to ask? But then as, as for us, as we have seen that we are into love God ministry, seeing other people's testimonies, strengthening us, we just said no. The Lord is us. Heaven knows that we are here. So let him speak for us. So as we went there, we met the principal and he told us, uh, Wayne's mother and Wayne's father, we just want to let you know that your son will be facing a very big challenge because you won't be, unfortunately, you won't be able to write because we can't enter his number into the system. It's a, if he doesn't highlight anything, it means he is not going to write. Imagine people of God staying here for more than 10 years, and all of a sudden you hear a child is not going to make it. Yes, he is one of the best things which you are planning to achieve in your life. Just imagine. We feel that everything is just falling apart where we were giving our hope. But then, at the end of the day, we managed to tell the principal the challenges which we were facing because we had gone home. And according to the woman face, they said our payments are breached because of that route which, we, which my husband had gone home. But he didn't go home just because of his own life. Both of his parents passed away along the, the years. So we tried to explain to them. Then the, the principal said, so you know what you can do? You can write one letter as the parents of Wayne. Then I will help you. I will take this letter to the Ministry of Education. After I take it to the Ministry of Education, then uh, uh, the Ministry of Education must take that later further to home affairs because for us we can't provide any permits or any ideas. So we say thank you so much, Principal, and we thank you for your concern. And they said, because it's the head of the school, this is our head and we want you to be a mentor of our, the other students because they are looking unto you because he is one of the students who makes us proud of this school. So we say it. Yeah, we we'll try and see if we can find another way, but knowingly that we don't have another way, we're just looking on to go. So as we went back home, um, we wrote a letter, we sat down and just wrote all in our own ways which we think can make any meaning according to, to the school or the home affairs. We didn't know, but we were just trying to write something sensible. Then we took our morning water, and we spread on the paper just lightly. Then we gave him and we said, please, just go and put your demand with the heart, with your own heart, when, as you go to the principal, please go and tell him, my parents are so much looking forward to, to hear your response from you, principal, and please, can you please try to push this letter, because you are saying, you know, this might take ages, but we are saying, my parents are trying to run behind you, we are supporting you, just tell him, please, you must always try to rally behind you and put his support, you mustn't lose hope, tell him that we know that this is important and this means everything to you. So as he went um, to the principal, he said, the principal said, yeah, wait, I've seen your parents later, I'll take it further as I told them, to just tell them they just must wait. Then we waited and waited and waited, people of God. Uh, last week, we came here and we received a touch again from the man of God. And he said, breakthrough, if everyone was listening, breakthrough, breakthrough. And we were also taking uh, the demand very seriously into our eyes because people of God, what I want to tell you, if you know something, you must fear God. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. For every test shall become a testimony in your life. Amen. 
In whatever situation you pass through, it is for the glory of God. It is not to embarrass you. God never embarrasses us, but it's I'm for sorry, His glory. I'm sorry for Check it and uh, try to listen to the, the family. But she was she wasn't supposed to, she was you know she was going to check in our hospital. So she was she was going there and she didn't want to take it. But when men when they came back from when they came uh, my mind uh, prophet came back from, from from Lagos, I said to my, my wife, you know these people they wait for us. You know, people if you listen very carefully, you know, what is happening there? There is those pastor conferences, whatever. You know those <laughs> people that I want to waste your time. Right, when he came here, then we ministered, uh, then we received, we received a touch here. Then I phoned my sister, then sister, you were also that little man. And he said, no, 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 no brother, you know, there was a problem, and uh, our cable was not right, so now it's fixed. She start, started to watch. You might have told me. She agreed in the whole family. What I only want to tell you that the, our family now, they are. <laughs> she had also too many challenges. Too many challenges. Uh, she, was, she was in the process of actually they, they got a um, family residence in, in Canada because the husband is there already, but they are still in Zimbabwe. But their papers were not uh, moving well. It was, uh, very slow. The process was, you know, you know, you know when Satan is showing his power. God has got authority to Satan powers. So the papers were tricky. But when we came here, uh, we received that touch, money, water, ministered. You know, you know when you, when you are being ministered, it's not only being done for you, but it's for the entire family. Yes. The entire family. Yes. My, the papers, uh, she, uh, my sister was waiting for, they were supposed to take, uh, the, actually they are taking their the, the grandchild, grandson. 
to, to, to Canada. The, we, what, what happened there, we said um, that the morning water. People, we took these things. <laughs> we took these things very, very serious. When that morning water came, we, we, we were given here, and we sent it to Zimbabwe. It arrived there on, uh, it took a bit of time because there was this, um, it was day, Monday, Tuesday. We arrived there, Wednesday it was day, but they collected it on, on, on Thursday. So what they did, they, 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 they took, they, they about more than 12 in the, in the house. They took the whole family, they prayed, they, they missed at each other. When they missed at each other, the following morning, the husband now from Canada phoned and said, hey, to go, how, do you, how, many, how many people are you in that house? And I want you to, to, to go to wherever you want to go and eat. Wow. That husband was no longer, you know, money. <laughs> money is a problem. He was no longer sending money, but hey, let, let me leave it there. Then, 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 then that very Thursday, what was it Saturday, yesterday, uh, the husband bought my sister a new car. New, brand new car. <laughs> People of God, I don't have ways, I don't have ways to express this. What we are seeing in our lives, what we are seeing in our family. Mm. And they just hear this testimony of my son. I mean, things are moving. Amen. Things are moving in the right direction. I, I, don't want to, I don't want to spend your time, I don't want to waste your time, but what I want is to say to you, please praise the Lord. Amen. When we miss that, when we miss that, miss that yeah, that Sunday, from here until I get home, I, I was in, a, in another world. Amen. I was just feeling so free. I mean, I, I didn't feel anything. I was so free. I, I didn't feel, you know, God's place is very far from me, but I didn't even see how, how, how we get there. But, but when you get there, on Monday I went to work. Then my boss just saw me and said, Hey, I want to increase money. To <laughs>
So if you fire me, I will go and claim my money and I will come back to work. And I know I'm going to start my own business. So he said, it can't, it can't. It won't happen to work for his company. You can fire other people, but not you. <laughs> I said, that's my decision, I'm going to say. He asked me, I'm going to speak to my with the directors, but I don't think it will, they will allow you to fire you. What happened was on Friday, I was praying about it. On Monday, I go to work, but I was feeling like I did not go to work. When I get to work at around 11 o'clock, I told my, my boss, I want to go home now, around 11 o'clock. <laughs> ask me why. Yeah. I say, I have some, uh, some other stuff to sit down. And he knows this guy is not at work. Even if he's here, this man is not at work. He said, You can go. I, I, I take my bag, I didn't even change. I just go home. And I took my papers of my religious company, which was registered. I went back home. Uh, on Tuesday, I didn't go back to work. When they phoned me around 5 o'clock, he said, What's going on? I said, Hey, I don't want to come to it anymore. He said, okay, come back on, on Thursday. I speak to the director. I have a story to talk to you. When I, get, when I went to work on, the, on Thursday, he said, the director, I told you about your story. He said, you're going to give you an increase. Mm. One, there's two options. Or else you're going to lend you the money and you pay back bit by bit. I said, no. I don't have those options. I don't want to work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so he told me, you have to stay at home until I call you. Then I'll come and fire you. <laughs> that was my prayer. And I started my own business. Things are going well. <laughs> 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 Not with you at that time, 
some of the blessings were just being blocked. Amen. When I printed that card for somebody, he didn't say to the person where the, the card was going, he didn't tell that person that I the one who did that. He just said, no, I've got my own ways to do this. Amen. Amen. But because of the grace of God, Amen. that person that I printed the car, like be, uh, behind somebody, he just came straight right to me with a lot of work to do now. Amen. Amen. He didn't go through the other person. He came straight to me. And that person told me to print 100 t-shirts. Amen. Amen. This is the first time that I made that big order. Amen. Oh, I've never printed so much t-shirts. Amen. So I just want to thank God. And I also refer to the Bible in the book of Kings. Uh, when God blessed Elisha, Elisha was told to send the prophets to go and anoint Jehu. Amen. So Jehu can become the king. Amen. So now, uh, we've got our prophet chief Joshua, he is our enlightened of today. He sent Baba the prophet to come and bless us. We are the Jews of today. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My God, thank God. You know, God has been preaching and saying, oh, for this past year, you've been talking about starting your own thing, starting your own business. And when you stay connected to the word of God, surely God will do it for you. We thank God. Uh, any more testimonies? It is now time for blessing.
not lost. If you were thinking you were lost, that's Christ for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Have I talked to somebody today? Amen. If you were thinking you are lost, you are not lost. Amen. Amen. I see CX. Where are you driving from? My God. What are you expecting Jesus to do with you? My God, my God. I'm sure it is that. Amen. With the testimony that you have done, it is done already. Amen. Driving all the way from there, if you come here, your case is settled. Amen. Your case is settled already. Yes. Are you happy, Amen. Being in the house of God, you don't come for money, what? You come for Christ. Here we preach Christ who is light. Amen. Are you with somebody? Yes. The Christ that we preach is light. Amen. When he comes in your life, darkness disappears. There is no room for darkness again. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. You know, I was being reminded of the story of Zacchaeus, the text for letter. The man was shot in stature. And in front of him, there were people who were who wanted to see Jesus. And Zacchaeus could not have time. He could not penetrate to touch Jesus. But there were big guys in front of him. Hallelujah. Amen. There were two men in front of Zacchaeus. And they were chasing him away. So Zacchaeus just realized, you know what? I need to run in front and climb a tree. Hallelujah, somebody. Your situation today is going to make you be located by Christ. Many were thinking Zacchaeus is short, he's gonna, not going to see Jesus. But he did not press on to see him. But Jesus located Zacchaeus wherever he was. Your situation is going to make Jesus locate you wherever you are. Are you with somebody? Don't think of your situation as a hindrance in the house of God. It's not. Because that thing is going to make Jesus see. Are you seeing? Jesus is going to see that sickness. And when Jesus comes, Sickness will go. Yes. I'm having limitation. Yeah. When Jesus comes, limitation will go. Yeah. I'm hearing somebody. Yeah. I'm lacking. When Jesus comes, let will go. Am I talking to somebody today? Yes. Listen. Yesterday was just when I was praying. I was given this word. We've been praying about breakthrough for a very long time. Why every time we pray about breakthrough? The word of God says, this word is full to my soul. So the more we speak it, the more you feed your soul. And it says you must speak it every day. It must not depart from your lips. So if you are thinking, ah, these people, they are, they are praying about breakthrough every day. The word of God is breakthrough. Are you looking somebody? Yes. It's breakthrough, the word of God. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. So we preach it every day. Or every week. We preach healing every week. Are you looking somebody? Amen. Glory be to God. I've got a short story that I want you to, to show you. That whatever that you are going through, your life, your destiny is in God's hands. Do not be fooled with what others are doing. Just know that, just run your, your rest with Christ. Your life is in God's hands. Your destiny is written somewhere. Just keep on believing. My God, my God. 